हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन आरटीएल डिजाइन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सम मोस्ट पॉपुलरली आस्क्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑन मक्स कोडिंग नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट अस गेट स्टार्टेड लेट अस स्टार्ट विद अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन वेयर यू हैव टू राइट अ वेरी लॉग कोड फॉर 2h21 मल्टीप्लेक्सर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यू हैव टू यूज अ साइन स्टेटमेंट and in the second question i will ask you to use if else statement although i have covered how to implement a multiplexer using if else statement in a separate video and even i will give its link in the description section as well as in the i bar section you can go through it but for now let us design a 2h21 multiplexer with the help of a assign statement those who knows its answer please write it down in the comment section otherwise i am going to tell you its answer because it is very simple question friends rtl code for 2h21 multiplexer is on your screen so this is the module name input is 2 bits that is i0 and i1 and another input is select line i named it as s and one output y here assign statement will be assign y is equal to s question mark i1 colon i0 when s will be equal to 1 this condition will be true so i1 will be passed to y when s will be 0 i0 will be passed to y and this is the expected behavior of 2h21 multiplexer friends the second question that is to implement 2h21 multiplexer using if else statement i am not going to write its very low code here but i am expecting from all of you those who know very low coding please write down the answer in the comment section now let us move towards your next question friends the next question is on your screen where you have to write a very low code for 4h21 multiplexer and here you will have three questions as a sub part of this question and the first one is you have to use a sign statement then you have to implement the same multiplexer using if else statement and then using case statement which is very popular to implement multiplexers firstly let us cover the first part that is using a sign statement before going to the code i want you to understand that how this multiplexer works this s1 decides whether i0 or i1 will be passed to y or i2 or i3 will be passed to y that means it selects one of the group i0 i1 or the second group which is made up of i2 and i3 this is decided by s1 S0 decides in this first group whether I0 will be passed to Y or I1 will be passed to Y. In the second group it decides whether I2 will be passed to Y or I3 will be passed to Y. Now let me show you the code. On your screen is the RTL coding of multiplexer 4H21. Here I have two inputs I and S. I is obviously 4 bits, S is a select line which is of 2 bits. Y is output. Here I am using a sign statement as asked in the question. y will be equal to s1 i told you right it decides one of the group either i3 or i2 will be passed or i1 or i0 will be passed so this is the first group and this is the second group now let us say s1 is 1 then this group will be passed that is i3 or i2 will be passed to y so s1 is 1 now it will depend on s0 whether i3 will be passed or i2 will be passed if S zero is one, then I three will be passed to Y. If S zero is zero, then I two will be passed to Y. Now let us say S one is zero, then this group will be passed to Y. Again, it will depend on S zero whether I zero will be passed or I one will be passed. If S zero is zero, then I zero will be passed to Y. If S zero is one, then I one will be passed to Y. This is how we implement four H two one multiplexer with the help of a sign statement. now as stated earlier i am not going to cover if else statement here and the case statement i will cover in the next question friends the next question is on your screen where you have to implement 8h21 multiplexer it is bit difficult to implement it with the help of a sign statement it is possible to implement it there is no problem but it will be difficult to understand it at the later stages and to understand by the others so i am giving you the relaxation to implement this 8h21 multiplexer with the help of a case statement and if it is 
most effective statement uh, to implement 8 to 1 multiplexers. On your screen, you can see 8 to 1 multiplexer implementation. It has two inputs, I and S. I is 8 bits. S, which is select line, is of 3 bits. Y is out output, which is single bit. This is the always statement where I'm using K statement. In case, select line is used as an in input. When S is 0, 0, 0, Y will be equal to I0. When S is 0, 0, 1, Y will be equal to I1 and so on. When S is 1, 1, 1, Y will be equal to I7. And default, I'm making Y is equal to 0. So this is how we implement multiplexer A test to 1 with the help of K statement. Friends, at the end of this video, I will give you a shortcut. With the help of that, you will be able to implement any type of multiplexer using a single line assign statements. And I will show you how we can implement this A test to 1 multiplexer with the help of assign statement and that to only single line statement. But now let me proceed towards the next question. Now the next question is on your screen where you have to write a very log code for NH21 multiplexer. Your inputs are not fixed. It will depend upon a parameter N. And accordingly you can calculate number of select lines and output of multiplexer is always one. Now friends you can take your time. If you come to know its answer please write it down in the comment section. Otherwise I am going to reveal it. Friends, on your screen, you can see NH21 multiplexer implementation using Verilog code. Here I have declared a parameter N, which will be equal to number of inputs I. In this case, I have considered N is equal to 2. So that means this particular code will implement 2H21 multiplexer. I is the input. Number of inputs are N. So vector will be N minus 1 down to 0. So that means total number of inputs are N. From this n, you can calculate number of select lines that is calculated by system task that is $c log 2. So if in case n is equal to 8, it will be 3. So 3 minus 2, 2 down to 0. That means total number of select line will be 3. In case number of inputs i are 8. Y output which will be always a single bit for multiplexer. Now the easiest implementation of this multiplexer is assign y is equal to i and then in the index you need to write select line s. So this will be the implementation of a multiplexer and it is the easiest one. Friends in the same way you can implement 8 as to 1 multiplexer with the help of single line assign statements. Here are two inputs i and s y is output y will be equal to i s. So instead of using K statement, you can use single line assign statements to implement the same multiplexer. Friends, with this, I'm going to end this video and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. And in future, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get a notification of all the videos as early as possible. Thank you so much for watching.